Hi, I'm Kendall Hansen. I'm currently a senior in Southern Utah University's Engineering Technology program. My degree emphasis is in computer-aided design and manufacturing. And for a project, I designed and built this 3D printed bass guitar. The Engineering Technology Department was kind enough to let me use their 3D printer that they own so that I could get this project done. Now only the body here is 3D printed. All of this hardware is from a manufacturer and the neck is just an old neck from another base I owned. So this is the design that I came up with in SolidWorks. You'll see that slot running down the middle of the body is for the wood inlay that I put in. Um, the print bed on the 3D printer is only 8 by 8 by 6 inches, so I actually had to break down the body into five separate pieces in order for it to fit in each print. Um, you'll see on some of those that the uh, electrical cavity is hollowed out and I've got some little conduits running so that I could wire it up eventually. I even added those little dowel holes so that I could reinforce the body when I put it together with some wooden dowels. Um, you'll also see that I designed the electrical cap and the output jack cap separately too and I printed those out to use as well. The printing material is an ABS plastic filament. You'll see here I've got the five pieces printed out and ABS is actually acetone soluble. So I used acetone to essentially weld them together. You just put acetone on each surface and stick them together and within a few minutes they'll fuse into one piece. You also see that I've got those little wooden dowels in there. They're half inch dowels and I just use those to strengthen the connection between the pieces. So here are some photos of when I'm assembling and arranging the inlay, the wooden inlay. I got a piece of tropical walnut from a local luthier here in Cedar City. His name is Luke Heaton. He works at Whittlesticks and he actually helped me quite a bit with a few pointers on this project. Um, once I got them arranged how I liked them, I used epoxy to set the inlay in and once it was all hardened and set in, I used a Dremel to shape the cutouts and all the little curves that I needed to have in the wood. Once that was done, I just all sanded it down evenly. Once it was all sanded and smooth, I stained and sealed the walnut inlay and let that dry for a couple hours. Then I covered it in painter's tape to protect it when I painted. I used a single stage black automotive base coat and over the top of that I used a 2K clear gloss top coat. And that means there's a catalyst in it to make it harden faster. Now a lot of people have been asking me what this 3D printed base is going to sound like, if it's even going to sound good. So to demonstrate the sound I've thrown together a quick arrangement of Johann Pachelbel's Canon in D. In that mix there's a little bit of reverb just to get that effect, but other than that the tone and the sound is just coming from the bass. I've got Seymour Duncan quarter pound jazz pickups and Diodario half round strings.
so after watching that, you could probably agree with me that just by looking at this and hearing it, you'd never know it was 3D printed. It looks and sounds just like a great manufactured bass. Um, the bulk of the tone is coming from the strings and the pickups anyway because it's electric. If this were acoustic, it'd be a much different story. But, I mean, for this, this ABS plastic works just fine for the body. Um, I think in the meantime, though, just the more traditional method of cutting or milling out a stock of wood for a body like this would be the most cost-effective way, but as 3D printing and the material becomes more available to consumers, we might see this catch on more.